Disney lays out a future that will probably involve Cinderella and Wokahannas. And Will Smith used the Oscars to reinforce Los Angeles' favorite pastime, black-on-black violence. This is The Laughing Libertarian, and I'm your host, Alan McFarland. And as always, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe so we can potentially pay off this studio. On the heels, possibly of the high variety, of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' parental rights and education bill, several Disney employees took an impromptu half day and walked off the job. This bill, condemned as the don't say gay bill by the idiotic left, has nothing to do with suppressing the LGBTQ plus furry exclamation point crowd, or whatever they've made up this week. However, it has everything to do with making sure nut job teachers teach the curriculum and not attempt to spread their mental illness. Let's be honest with ourselves. If gender is a social construct, why didn't we learn to be a goth, a nerd, or a jock from our teachers? It's almost like we were taught science, math, health, and language arts, and the rest was left for us to ask our parents or maybe even figure out on ourselves. You know, personal growth and stuff. Instead, Alphabet Scramble created pretty flags to isolate themselves even further as if craft time at your local psych ward wasn't sad enough. Oh, wait, God damn it, Felipe! The classic brown poop is supposed to go in the parents' bedroom. The living room is supposed to be all baby green poop. Carlos, Carlos, no! We want a textured effect on the nut and corn crunch poop. That's why we spackle with the sponge, oh. see? Spackle. But think about this. What did social constructs do for us? It didn't drive us together to create peace and harmony. It segregated us. It made us think negatively about other groups, even. They taught us that there was a hierarchy. It raised certain people up and gave them expectations in life they would never achieve and gave others an inferiority complex they'd never shake. But now these adults are teaching kids that they are special if they belong to these alphabet soup groups. Here's your order, Elmo. Alphabet soup. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Elmo loves alphabet soup. Because if Elmo eat enough of this stuff, I learned the alphabet, right? And there seemingly has become almost a phobia towards straight kids, or at very least a stigma that they're boring. Then they are swept off to a liberal college where all of this is reinforced, weaponized, and monetized. And then into the world, they go to either march a lot and never go the distance or to get respected jobs as teachers so they can spread their very adult lifestyles to our children without us knowing. So that leads us to the rusted metal strainer of Florida, Disney. Proven they have become goofier than an anthropomorphic dog. Gosh. <laughs> yes, sir. Their super woke and thus infinitely superior cast and crew members got together for a virtual woke Olympics with such highlights as executive producer Latoya Rabineau, who produced shows such as Puppy Dog Pals and Rise Up and Sing Out, gleefully exclaiming that she splashed queerness wherever she wanted. And why? Because no one was going to question her. Next to make her appearance on the Wokedest podium was diversity and inclusion manager Vivian Ware. And by that title, you already know she has perfected the art of delivering ridiculous things quickly or ridiculosity. Her claim to fame is wiping out the iconic words, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now we have hello, everyone. Hello, friends are my personal favorite dreamers of all ages, which, oh boy. which, right, which makes sense when your dumb ass lives in a world where you're so delusional, you believe you weren't born the right sex. But being delusional is weak unless you have the power to spread the mental illness. And power is where our woke Olympics gold medalist shines. Coming in as corporate president and boasting an impressive record of one trans child and one pansexual child, Carrie Burke. She has stuck with the tried method of equity, so she wants 50% of all Disney characters to be minorities or LGBTQ plus dot asterisk space bar because they have made it clear. It's not good enough to just identify as a kid anymore, and they will keep charging you monthly to force feed your children this bullshit. And how does this change the Disney landscape? Well, first of all, Mulan's just an every girl these days. Psh, girl just cut her hair and trained. The real challenge is taking anabolics and shaming anyone who doesn't use your he, him pronoun. 
It is ma'am. It is. That's the real struggle. The Little Mermaid seems like a legit choice, though. I mean, she's technically a trans woman. And the left loves the concept of debt forgiveness and denying to cover their end of their signed contracts. Mickey Mouse, I think he has a swingers clubhouse, and Toodles is his favorite concubine these days. And finally, is anyone watching what Uncle Donald Duck is teaching Huey, Dewey, and Louie behind closed doors without their parents' consent? In other news, though, the Oscars continued the work the NFL began. Both took the time to honor the prevalent traditions of Los Angeles, hip-hop, and people not being able to control their emotions. So Chris Rock did what he's done his entire career and cracked a G.I. Jane joke at Jada's expense. Then Will Smith did what he's done his entire career and followed a script. And what felt like violence at a spaghetti western will smack the Oscars back into relevance. Interesting how they went woke to broke and then doubled down on a black man hitting another black man for the entertainment of white folks. Oh wait, I think I've seen this one before. Django Unchained. Well, come on over. We got a fight going on that's a good bit of fun. Oh, Will, what was it? Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Come on, maybe you should start with confirming she's your wife and then keep the other men out of her mouth. And why are you so offended anyway? Over alopecia? Over something you thought was hilarious years ago in Arsenio Hall, and unlike the professionalism Chris Rock showed, the Oscar security guards just asked Will Smith to leave. I ain't heard no fat lady. No fat lady at all. But maybe they really just thought he was Mike Lowry, and they were giving a fellow officer some professional courtesy. But Jada... Highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh, 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 my eyes! This is no longer a vacation. It's a quest. It's a quest for fun. I'm gonna have fun, and you're gonna have fun. We're all gonna have so much fucking fun when we need plastic surgery to remove our goddamn smiles. You'll be whistling symphony doodah out of your assholes. 